Well, here I am at the Big Bear Middle School where the Busy Bears Quilt Guild is having their annual Mountain Treasures Quilt Show. Let's go in and uh, see some of these gorgeous handmade quilts. Okay, this is the drawing for this opportunity quilt. This taken the whole cloth, the guild, about a year to make. And Liz Harris, she's our current mayor of the city of Big Bear Lake, is doing the drawing. The quilt is valued at about $1,500 if you have. Oh, there's one over there too. But it really is, really is neat. Here's all the busy bears looking on. Now what they do is... person doesn't have to be here. Now last year they drew it and it was a local. So they called her and she came right down. Okay Liz. Cameron Savaras. It's a 585 number. Well they'll call and see if they can get him down. C-A-B-A-Z-O-S. There you have exciting. it. There we go. Look at this. has Comfort Quilts for Doves, Bonnie. This is a representative of the quilts that we provide to the Doves organization. That's our main philanthropic organization that we donate to. We try to provide enough quilts so that the women and the children that are there all can have something warm and cuddly oh, to sure. have with them. A little bit of home. Yes. And hopefully something to kind of yeah. keep things a little calm for them. We need to tell people that Doves is a nonprofit organization and their main goal is helping abused moms and children <laughs> and even dads sometimes. Yes. And we have a large number that come through uh, our mountain community. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Oh, is our challenge quilt. Every year we have a challenge. Uh -huh. uh, this year the challenge was to make something that has is a foundation paper pieced quilt. Uh -huh. And that is a somewhat different technique and a lot of a lot of quilters are a little shy of trying it because it is because it is different. Sure. So, this is to bring everybody out of their comfort zone and it right. had each project had to be at least 50% paper piece. Oh, really? So and They're just beautiful. Quite varied. Now, these would be considered like a wall <laughs> hanger? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Or they could decor. be, or sometimes they're a table topper. Oh, sure. Sometimes they fit on a, a small table. I've also seen, like, white uh, bedspreads, and then this sort of triangled on it as uh, to add color to it. Absolutely. One of these small. There are a lot of You can do a lot of things with quilts. Now these are different here. These right, are honey? these are also uh, wall hanging size, but you can see that there is quite a variety. Some are oh yeah now look at more that linear oriental. and a lot of Asian influence this year. Sure. Uh, this one is what is called promise stitching. It's a uh, it's all hand done. Everything is by hand. There is no machine use on those at all. Uh huh. How many members of the guild do you have now, Bonnie? Uh, right now, I think we're right at eighty-four. Really, isn't that which, neat? Which has grown a lot, but we're still quite a small guild. Sure. To. Now we got to introduce Sharon because she's the show <laughs> chairman. Bonnie is the president of the Busy Bears. Yes. Quilt Guild. Yes. So, um, did you have a time putting this all together, or this is your what, twenty second? Twenty second. Twenty second. So, show. it gets easier every year. Of course no. it does. <laughs> no, I don't. I think it's hard every year. It seems it, to grow. Yeah, it does. We have a lot of mem the members 
worked so hard to put this together. Everybody oh, I know. Gets us in. And it's so nice to be back at middle school. Oh, it's wonderful. You the bet. The lighting, the size, the you. convenience. Yes. Parking is our only issue. It's I know, a little but tight. that's good. They'll find a parking <laughs> they place. They do. They do. Oh, guests, look at that. When our guests come in, they're given a glove so that if they want to touch a quilt, they can do it with their gloved hands so that you know the quilts don't get soiled. Sure. And these little quilts are just reminders to our guests not to touch things with wow. a bare hand. And we actually have a little contest. The, um, our guests vote on which ones they like the best, which are these little mini quilts. Sure. Now what's yellow ribbon? Uh, yellow ribbon is um, Honorable mention. Oh, honorable mention. And um, <laughs> look at the alphabet so there. Isn't that neat? This is another one of the one of the promise stitching quilts. Oh yeah. And you'll notice on the outside edge it has what looks like lace that is crocheted edging. That really? Is you probably won't see those on any of the wow, of the, the machine stitched. Quilts. This is second place, folks. This is a red yes. ribbon. And here's a blue ribbon. And that would be first, of course. That should be first. Look and at that. Our third place is right above it. Oh, yeah, third place. Isn't that beautiful? Now look at this. This is a sashiko. The white stitching on the blue background is a sashiko technique, uh -huh. uh, which is a Japanese type of um, wow. stitched art. Beautiful. Look at it, got a pellet to match. How neat, look at that. It's a match. You bet. Yeah, that's all you have to do is talk. This is first place. This is a first place in this category. And this all hand applique by one of our members, uh, Gay Joyner. Sure. Over here we have a second place right next to it in the same category. Well, look how beautiful those are. All hand applique. All hand applique. Wow. Here's second place right next door. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. This is Tish's. You know, the quilters are artists. Because there's never really two exactly the same. And their designs are art. Absolutely. So. You should, then we should look at the next one. This is truly unique. Oh, wow. This is the third place in this category, and this is made by a woman whose children went to um, St. Teresa Academy somewhere in San Diego, and uh, now her grandchildren are going there. And those are parts of the uniforms and how they've changed. Over the years. years. How cool is that? And, and I believe she is giving this to the school to wrap up this for a public Right. And look at that. We pray that you wear gloves. Another and one touching our quilts. Touch. Isn't that cool? <laughs> this is what? Unique? Yes, it's made out of t-shirts. One of our, one of oh, our members, sure. husband, has really been into cars, classic cars. Uh -huh. And these are some of the shirts that he has collected over time. So she made him a t-shirt <laughs> out of them, which is becoming very popular. Is it really? Yes. And, and you really have to do a lot of planning because t-shirts don't have necessarily have the same size. Oh, right. Yeah, them. right. So you have to really plan to make them fit together. Wow. And here's our first place in the category of, um, of twin lap quilts. Isn't that something? Isn't that beautiful? Plus the night before Christmas. And wow. this is all hand embroidery. These little motifs are machine embroidery. Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? Folks? And that belongs to Janine Miller. And one of our members, Susie Myers, did all of the quilting for you. Wow. That is so beautiful. Uh, there's another snow scene. There's another one. We had thought about doing this as one of our opportunity quilts a couple of years ago. And we decided it was a, not quite going to work out that way. And one of our members said, oh, I'd like to do that. 
and she did it all by herself, and it's absolutely beautiful. Wow. This is Terry Botton Field. And that's second place, folks, right next to the first. And again, it's all hand applique. Wow. And if I'm not wrong, I think it's also hand quilted. Two ribbons, viewers' choice. Look at this one. This Boy, one. Boy, this is intricate. This has, um, not it, only did it get a ribbon from the judge, but our vendors also oh, oh, select good. Their, their favorite out of all of the quilts. Sure. And this is the one that our vendors wow. chose as their favorite. Look how busy that is. I this mean, it's... This is Sandy Canarelli's, and she is a new quilter, She's a new member. Really? And very prolific. She wow, and quilters. very talented. And very talented. You bet. How neat. Let's move on down. Okay, Sharon, what's this one? I love, this is my colors. I love earth tones. Yes, well, this is one of our members with a sense of humor decided that she would do the, the chicken and the fox. And we have a few feathers and the legs and bones in the center. Yes. And, she got an and this is honorable mention, which is really neat. And fun. We like to do fun things sometimes. I know it. They can be so creative. <laughs> I just can't get over it. How neat it is. And quite. She added this little eyelash yarn to, to sort of simulate the feathers oh, on the sure. chicken. Sure, look at that, folks. <laughs> simulate the feathers on those. That is so cool. Hey, now, this is Maggie's. She wanted me to point it out. Maggie's a member of Cats. She's an actress, a singer, a dancer. She played the uh, uh, house warden, that's what I call it, um, on the cats. Annie. The name of this is, she called it Tequila Sunrise. Oh yeah, Tequila Sunrise. That's cool. These are so, I just wish I could take time to film each individual one. Because there's so many beautiful, creative ones. That's why we hope that people will come and see the show. Because seeing them in person, you just can't see them as well if you have, you know, if you don't have time to just really stand. And sure. Them. And the camera doesn't know. I mean, you got to see them in person yeah. to appreciate the true colors and the texture and the texture yes. of them and all of that. That is so cool. I love that. Another honorable mention. Yes. And a second place, this is Twin Lab. Uh-huh. And, and third place, third and that's place interesting place. too. That's unusual, isn't it? It sure is. I love it. Very good. That was done by Jackie Cohn. She's one of our like, founding members. I know Jackie. Yes. She's been quilting for years. Yes. And this is one of our relatively new members who actually does not live up here. She comes and joins us to participate in the guild. And this is Linda Emery's. Oh, yeah. Very complex looking. Now, do you meet once a month? Once a month, the third Monday. Uh huh. And generally Where? at the Methodist, United Methodist oh, Church okay. on, on the boulevard in Holden. Uh -huh. I'm not on the boulevard, on Highway. United yeah, Methodist yeah. Church. The United Methodist Church. Sure. And we generally have a workshop the day following. Okay. Sometimes it's a comfort quilt workshop to work on the quilts for doves, and sometimes it is a special one relating to what the teacher has, oh. our visiting right. instructor has brought. This is a Baltimore album quilt. Again, uh. all hand done. And if you look at the circles, they are just absolutely perfect circles, which is not an easy thing to do. Really? And the colors, each block is individual. And this again was done by Terry Bottenfield. <laughs> and it truly is a work of art. Look at that one, it's hand quilted too. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Also. Now, are all quilts have blocks or made by blocks? Squares? Uh, not necessarily. Really? Uh, some of, especially the art quilts, and you'll see the one at the end. Uh -huh. It doesn't have blocks that's put together in uh, strips. That's another foundation paper piece similar to our challenge quilts on oh. a much larger scale. Oh, let's go down and look at that one. This 
one is put together in little units. Oh, sure, yeah. And then, and then the next one, slightly different colors, but the same idea. And then these rays are put together wow. to make the center. That's beautiful. That's a king size, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> or a big wall hanger. Uh, a little bit <laughs> I think it's too big for a wall hanger. <laughs> but that is beautiful, boy. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Good colors. It is beautiful. Yeah. Her birthday last year. Uh -huh, this is Jackie Holmes? Yes. And these are all blocks that were sent to them that were made by her friends. And her, she loves Christmas. So the, the whole thing was a Christmas theme. And then they put the blocks together to create this beautiful, huge quilt. Oh, isn't that neat? Wonderful birthday present. That sure so, is. We walk by. Well, the, we've we got to show Sharon's yeah, here. Now talk about mountain. Look at that. The grizzly, the fish, the wolf. And my favorite colors again. Second place, Sharon. That's pretty good. How long did it take you to make this? Several months. Yeah. You can't make a quilt in a month. Oh, well, yeah, I guess you could have you sat down eight hours or ten hours a day, <laughs> yes. but you... There is life in between. Yes. There is life in between quilting, isn't there? Okay, now this is the best of show. This is beautiful. And it has a lot of machine embroidery in it. Uh-huh. And to use as the applique. Just so many different techniques in that quilt. Wow. <laughs> best of show. Beautiful. Well, we'll end looking at the quilts, and we only hit just a few of them, folks. Well, we'll uh, go around and look at some vendors, and then we'll close this segment off. Oh, look at this. This is Denise. This is a dulcimer. It's called a hammer dulcimer. been playing the dulcimer three years three years yes. hard to learn um i don't think so it's, yeah um, <laughs> how talented uh, that is yes, thanks I, so I much for giving me this song okay thank you thanks yes. well ladies i tell you bonnie on the right the president sharon on the left the show the, chair the show chairperson <laughs> oh man Another successful 22nd annual yes. Mountain Treasures Quilt Show. So thank you so much for all your hard work. And tell all the girls in the guild, we love them. We'll do, and thank you. Okay. Thank you. Well, my time's up here. That concludes this segment at the annual Mountain Treasures Quilt Show. I'll be back right after these messages from my sponsors.